Okay, I think we're recording. Hi everyone, it's Glenda from Inspire Emotion. How are you today? Um, what I do is I don't buy jewelry jars. Uh, I go and buy jewelry bags from uh, eBay on eBay and I use recycle the jewelry to make needle minders and I thought I'd be, today we just go through one of the bags. Now I've already sorted it out um, into stuff, you know, that um, uh, stuff that I will use to make uh, needle miners and have some jewelry that I may keep for myself. I may resell or uh, just give you ideals that you can use uh, this jewelry to make items from. Okay, so we'll just get started. And the first item that uh, caught my eye is this. It's a gold tone and I'm trying to get the light in here so I may uh, really go close up. Um, is this gold tone brooch and it has peach flowers. Um, it's actually in good shape. Uh, I'm not sure if it's vintage. I will take a look, see if there's a maker's name, and uh, I may resell this or I may put this in a um, brooch lot to sell, to resell. So there's that item. Um, another item that I will keep for myself are these pair of earrings. They're great for the summer. There they are rainbow colors and so you know um, I do uh, will wash all these uh, all this jewelry um, I find when you get the jewelry bags it's all it comes a little um, greasy or grungy whatever you want to call it so I will wash them and what I normally do is I put it in a bowl with soap and it, they clean up pretty good and the last thing uh, it's not the last thing but it is this um, uh, uh, we call it bracelet. Sorry. Um, depending how it cleans up, I may resell this or I may keep this myself. It is a black agate, um, uh, silver tone, um, uh, clasp bracelet. It's actually in good shape and it just needs to be cleaned up. There's that. Okay. Um, items that are in, included in the jar or not the jar, the bag. Watch too many, uh, videos uh, here is this necklace it is a long loop necklace it's, it's actually in good shape it's uh, orange bead um, I would say it's handmade but it is nice um, yeah so if you want you know uh, to accessorize some things this would be okay I'm not keeping it um, and I here's another one it's a long strand uh, and they're plastic and they're brown black uh, with some silver in them beads um, I kind of like this one it's in actually good shape um, again um, I may keep this um, yeah I may keep this for to put in a lot um, for future but yeah I, I kind of do like that one um, so here's that one here is, now I already have one of these. Um, I always buy from the same girl. Um, now the class is broken on this, but here are some uh, very colorful beads. They're plastic, different shapes. Um, this would be great um, if you were making some, something else. Um, something else you could, you could make something for, sorry. You can make something else with this. Um, so yeah. And here is, and I, I believe this is handmade. This is uh, one of those, um, the beads are magnetic uh, bracelet. It has some cat eye beads, green and pink cat eye beads. I'm just trying to come out when I do this. Um, again, I'm not keeping this. This is handmade, but is that, this one's actually in very good shape. Here is um, some of the beads around the clasp or, or scratched or rubbed off um, but if you needed to make um, I'm trying to think of something um, different shape different uh, color of blue beads um, this would be perfect okay unfortunately this is actually nice but uh, the clasp is broken 
and not not broken, but some of the beads around the clasp are scratched. So there's that one. And I'm on the fence with this. I like it. It is a smoke tone uh, triple. Of course, I got to get tangled. Um, smoke tone uh, layered necklace. My only I really don't like is the clasp. Is it's um, it's gold. And here it is. So I I probably won't keep this, but this is things that you find in here. You now you you always find the the Mardi Gras beads. You find one earring, um, loose beads. You will always find them in them. Unfortunately. Now this one I think I'm going to keep, whether it's for myself or I may actually try to resell this. It is a wood boho necklace. There it is. It's in very good shape, lightweight, clasp is good. Um, so yeah. And violet is actually in, in, in season right now. So I will definitely keep that one. And the last thing is this chain. It's very long, to be honest with you. Uh, it's probably a, uh, about 48 inches. Um, I have something like this, and the one that I have is made in Germany, so I'm going to look at this one a little bit. It is silver. It's uh, it's kind of got a little bit of gold tone in it, but these are uh, bendable, um, and um, I'm going to see where it's made or if I can find out, find out where it's made, and I may keep it if it's one from Germany. Um, I think I will keep this one, and I may put something on this and, and resell it. So there's that one. So that's all the jewelry that I found that I may I'll keep or I'll resell. But the next stuff is stuff that I'm going to use to make needle minders. And needle minders are for cross-stitchers, embroiderers, hand sewers. And what we do, we put a magnet on it. Uh, we put it on our, our fabric another magnet underneath and then holds our needle. Uh, we, um, I call it jewelry for cross stitching. Uh, cross stitchers love it, love needle minders. Um, someone collect tons of them, tons. And um, the the ones that I, from this jewelry are unique. You'll never get them again, or you can never make them again because these are one offs. Um, so I'll show you. Uh, now, when I make them, I need one side to be flat, and it can't be too thick because uh, it has to have a magnet, and the magnet has to draw the needle onto it. So sometimes it, it, it doesn't work because it's too thick or it's magnetic, magnetic, and I can't use them. But here are here is a one earring, it's square, and I'll clean this earring up. I'll take the back of it off, and sometimes I have to file the back because it, it's sharp. And I'll put a magnet on this, and this will be a needle minder. I'll sell that. Okay, this is that one. Here is um, a, a bow tie. It's a, a pin. Someone's made a pin out of this. Now, it feels wood. Um, again, I will test this to uh, see if I can put a magnet, and it will hold a pin on the other side, a needle. Um, uh, and, of course, clean it up. And there's that. Kind of cute. Okay. Now, here's something. It's a necklace. I, it hasn't been taken out. Or it's a, I think it's a bracelet. Sorry. It hasn't been taken out. It's new. But I will use this charm. Um, it has uh, clear rhinestones. I will use this as a needle minder. It does say on the back, Ralph. Um, I have no idea what it is. But here's that. So I will make this will be a needle minder in my shop. And here's a, a, I didn't know this, notice this until I was uh, going through this. Here, through the bag, here is a necklace with uh, a whale's tail, and I will make that as a needle minder. That will be really cute. Okay, so that will be a, another needle minder. Um, I actually have charms. Uh, I've sold charms like this. This one, 
when you get close to it, it has it's pink but it has a ladybug on it it's really cute and i would have to think how i would make this a needle minder i pretty sure i can but i i would have to make sure i describe the needle has to go in the shoe it can't go on top because there will be no magnet though that will hold that that is really cute so i may try that with that i will test that um then we have this cat charm and i have to clean this guy up um it says lollipop so i don't know the brand or anything and i will see if that will make a cute needle minder people do love their cats me it's dogs and the last piece is is this necklace that i will turn into i will take these off and make needle minders it's very colorful um, unfortunately this the sun has to come out um, not every piece I can make as a needle minder um, this sticks out too much you see the, the depth of that that's too much unfortunately one little piece there is too much if I can show you there oh, let me see. yeah it's no oh, there we go get my hands out of that yeah it's too it's too height is it's too thick that's the word but i will make this part as a needle minder these as needle minders these green uh teardrops this as a needle minder and they will make cute needle minders and they're onesies you'll, you'll never see another one this part i will make as a needle minder and actually this is vintage um i can tell by the the chain of it that's quite nice um that would be uh, uh that's how i can tell it's vintage and the clasp um is, is older so yeah so out of that there's six or seven needle minders that i will sell in my shop inspire motion and hopefully i will have them up in a couple of days and that's it for today thank you um if you like to visit my shop it's inspire motion on etsy or inspire motion on ebay thank you and have a great day enjoy your weekend